Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. And this week we have three stories for you. We have the DJI Doc 2 that was finally released. We talked about this last couple of weeks. We have Helio getting approval to do a drone swarm. And then lastly, DroneUp announces a new delivery system. So let's get to it. And first up this week is DJI's new Dock 2. Uh, the Dock 2 is a smaller, more compact version of the original Dock with very similar capabilities. Uh, it's 75% smaller, 68% lighter, which is a big deal, uh, than the original Dock, and it also comes with two available aircraft. DJI released the Matrice 3D and the 3DT, which is the thermal version, along with the Dock 2, allowing for nearly any kind of mission to be completed using the Dock system. The Matrice 3D is set up very much like the Matrice 3M, Enterprise with a four-third uh, CMOS sensor and then also a half-inch CMOS telecamera. The Matrice 3DT itself mimics the Mavic 3 Enterprise Thermal and it has a 1 over 1.32 CMOS sensor and then a half-inch CMOS sensor with a telecamera and then of course a thermal sensor uh, 640 by 512. The batteries on both of the aircraft are advertised to last for 15 minutes and have a 400 charge cycle. DJI also advertises that the control for the dock is done through a US-based AWS server for maximum security. Let us know in the comments what you think about the new dock. Uh, I hope we can get our hands on one of those and uh, be able to test it. Next up, Helio has gotten approval to operate drone swarms. Uh, Helio makes several spray drones that uh, have a small 2.5 gallon and up to 18 gallon tank. Uh, the price ranges from 18,000 to 56,000 respectively, with additional accessories further increasing the price. Uh, Helio's latest FA approval allows them to operate several drones larger than 55 pounds at the same time, simultaneously. It's unclear at the moment the specifics of the waiver authorization, but that's actually a pretty big breakthrough uh, when it comes to working in agriculture. Uh, if you don't know, operating just one drone for agriculture actually makes it uh, not the best as far as return on investment, but being able to operate a swarm of them at the same time is going to make it a lot more competitive uh, compared to the traditional ways of spraying uh, different areas in agriculture. Last up this week is Drone Up uh, with a release of a locker system that's called a DBX that will replace the operation center that they're currently using. Uh, DBX acts as a location that a company can use to send packages out of and then has a maximum capability of 50 packages per hour. Uh, a drone then delivers the packages to the customer and then returns to a different location to either charge up or to get the battery swapped. Uh, this allows a network of drone to operate as a hub and then also pick up packages at the store and in other locations and then deliver them to customers. Let us know what you think in the comments. I have to wonder what kind of FAA authorization uh, exists already for this kind of operation, which is, sounds like it would be fully autonomous. Uh, I know DroneUp has some approval, but a lot of them are pretty limited and still, I think, require uh, to have a visual observer. So that's all we have. Uh, happy Easter. Uh, or Hoppy Easter, like it's written on the prompter. Uh, if you use your drones uh, to hunt for eggs this Sunday, uh, just be careful not to fly over people and then uh, make sure that you don't uh, hit the uh, Easter bunny or the bells. That's it. See you next weekend. So? <laughs> Great. Ben. Easter Sunday. How many eggs per kid? 12? I do a lot. I do 12 eggs per kid. Yeah, but you have a lot more kids than I do, so. I do, and I have a small <laughs> yard. Small so it's just like eggs everywhere. Did you know the big difference in Easter between Europe and the US? The bunny does not exist in Europe. There's no Easter bunny. Is it a fox? No. You never guess what it is. It's a flying bell. What? <laughs> yeah. So the flying bells fly over the different places and drop the eggs. An inanimate object, a bell. Well, I mean, a bunny with eggs. <laughs> 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 or a bell that with wings. So yeah, the, the flying bells um, of Easter, that's, that's what I grew up with and then came here and there was a bunny. And I was like, what the hell is the bunny doing here? Bells and bunnies. Bells and bunnies. <laughs>